In light of recent military footage showing US Marines killing a puppy, this Funny Week investigates the United States War on Puppies. Hello and welcome to Shut Up, I'm Talking. My name's Bob Beckham Eisenhower. Shut Up, I'm Talking. Welcome to the special War on Puppies edition of Shut Up, I'm Talking. We lost the war in Vietnam. We haven't won the war in Korea. We lost the war on drugs. And the war on terror is looking very shaky indeed. But we can and must win the war on puppies. Let's cross now to our special embedded reporter with U.S. forces in Baghdad, Rick Dixon, for a special report. Rick, are you there? Thank you, Bob. I am down here in downtown Baghdad where the Marines have found a puppy dog stronghold. Now there are all the Marines storming the stronghold. Oh, oh my, oh my God, there, there's a Marine. He ju he's just being dragged like a pair of sleepers. Oh my God. Well, we seem to have lost contact there with Rick Dixon live in Baghdad, but I'm sure everything's going to be all right. He is with U.S. Marines, U.S. forces. I'm sure they will be able to protect him, but I will pray for his soul tonight. And I'm just getting word through from our producer that the puppy alert has moved into yellow. And now for an insight into the mind of the young dog. Let's cross now to my couch. Cute, cuddly, and affectionate. Just a few words to describe me. But let's talk about puppy dogs. What are they? What do they want? And where are my slippers? Puppy dogs have been terrorizing the world for centuries. Genghis Khan had a puppy dog. Hitler had a puppy dog. Even Rosie O'Donnell has a small bitch. After an intense study on puppy dogs and how they think, we've come to the conclusion that they're incredibly dangerous and can't be trusted. So next time you're thinking about giving a dog a bone, think again. Mike Couch, Pennsylvania. Thank you, Mike Couch, for that in-depth report. This is Shut Up, I'm Talking. So shut up, because I'm now talking. I've just received word from the Pentagon that the puppy alert has moved from code yellow into code orange. That is a very dangerous situation, but I must stress, do not panic at home. Okay, we'll be back after these important messages from Pal Dog Food. Hi, Hi. and welcome to another episode of it's Rad! A show of bad teenagers! For teenagers! By teenagers! With, With a serious message, message for teenagers! <laughs> Yay! Oh, hi, and welcome to another episode of It's Rad! You know, puppy dogs are terrorizing the world, and we've all got to be a little extra careful. You might realise that my friend Nikki isn't in the show. That's because she was killed by a puppy dog. And that's not rad. No, it's not rad. Yay! Remember, life's a bitch. See ya! Yay! Welcome back. We have re-established contact with Rick Dixon embedded with US Forces Live in Baghdad. Let's talk to him now. Rick, are you there? Thanks, Bob. I must admit, I have become the victim of an IEP, an improvised explosive puppy. I don't know what I was thinking. It was just too cute. I bent down to pat it, and what do you know? I, I just, I gotta thank these Marines for saving my life, pulling me off that puppy. I can't believe it. Billy, Billy threw himself on that puppy to save my life. Oh God, I love these Marines. They're in my prayers, and I must admit, America is the greatest country in the world. Back to you. Thank you, Rick. Well, not everyone in the United States hates puppies. I talked to one of these commie, lefty, arts-loving, homosexual puppy lovers earlier today. Well, not everyone in the United States hates puppies. Here's a man next to me who loves dogs, uh, Stephen Chrysley. Stephen, why do you hate freedom? Uh, well, no, I don't hate Shut freedom. up! Why do you hate freedom? Well, I don't hate freedom. It's just... Shut up! Well, uh, why do you support these terrorist dogs? Uh, well, I don't support terrorists. Shut up, Stephen. Why are you against freedom in this country? Well, like I said, I'm not against freedom. I'm just sort of Shut like, up! But what about the Lord? Why are you, It's very unpatriotic of you, especially seeing the president has declared war on puppies. Why but, are you supporting the opposite view of that in a time of war? I just think that it's unreasonable. Shut up! 
Okay, let's go back to me in the studio. Okay, let's cross to the Pentagon live now for a special announcement. Shut up, because they're speaking. Okay, settle down, settle down. I do have an important announcement from POTUS. We are requesting that all U.S. citizens report their dogs to Guantanamo Bay for waterboarding. We have discovered that most dogs, when squirted with water, just like to bite it. Uh, however, we will continue to try and gain more information as it comes to hand. Okay, are there any questions? People of the world, the puppy alert has now moved to red. I repeat, red. The United States is in a state of war with all puppies around the world. Do not approach a puppy. Do not pat them. Do not let them into your house. They could be terrorists. They might explode upon impact. My fellow Americans, join me tomorrow night for Shut Up! I'm talking. I'm Bob Beckham Weisenberg, Howard.